In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Well, good evening and a very warm welcome to our Eucharist this evening. Today we keep in mind a particular missionary. His name was Henry Martin, a translator of the scriptures. And so we'll be remembering in our Eucharist tonight missionaries and also those who work in the translation of scripture throughout the world, particularly the scripture uh, um, societies of the church. Let us now pray together our prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate the presence of Christ, in word and sacrament, let us call to mind and confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, who by your Holy Spirit gave Henry Martin a longing to tell the good news of Christ, and skill to translate the scriptures. By the same Spirit, give us grace to offer you our gifts, wherever you may lead, at whatever cost, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the prophecy of Isaiah, chapter 55. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their way and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them return to the Lord that he may have mercy on them and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and snow come down from heaven, and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth, forth and sprouting, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word that goes forth from my mouth, it shall not return to me empty. But it shall accomplish that which I purpose, and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be Jesus. to God. And the response to Psalm 24 is, The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it the world and all who dwell therein. For it is he who found it upon the rivers and seas. He made it firm upon the rivers of the deep. The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Who can ascend the hill of the Lord? And who can stand in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not pledged themselves to falsehood nor sworn by what is a fraud. 
the Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Lift up your heads, O gates, lift them high, O everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Alleluia, Alleluia. Hear the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Go into all the world and proclaim the good news to the whole creation. The one who believes and is baptized will be saved. But he, but the one who does not believe, will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe. By using my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up snakes in their hands. As if they, and if they drink any deadly thing, it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick, and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went out and proclaimed the good news everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the message by the signs that accompanied them. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ Jesus, let us now bring our prayers to our Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, give thanks today for the life and witness of Henry Martin. Lord, who was called by you to bring the good news of your love in Christ to all nations. And particularly, Lord, to India, the Middle East, that he would translate the scriptures into languages that had never heard the good news before in them. Lord, we give thanks for Henry Martin, his courage, his witness. Lord, traveling far and in dangerous places to make your love known in Christ. Lord, we remember all missionaries tonight, particularly those serving you in dangerous places. Lord, who are endeavoring to bring the good news in the local language and also in the local custom. Grant wisdom, Lord, to all who are missionaries at this time. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Father, remember tonight too all who translate the scriptures. But remember the Bible Society tonight in particular, the headquarters in Swindon, and all serving, Lord, the society throughout the world. We'll give grace and wisdom and strength to those seeking to bring the language, or the good news rather, known in English, into every language on the planet. Lord, bless their work tonight, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray tonight for the mission and witness of this parish church, for this congregation gathered here tonight. Father, may you inspire us to use our gifts to bring the good news of your love to those among whom we live in this place. Lord, grant us also wisdom to use the right language, the right words, or to communicate, Lord, in the right way, your love, through our words and our actions. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Father, we remember tonight to all those in our hearts, those for whom we come with prayer to you tonight. We remember all those dear to us in a moment of quiet. And Father, among them we remember tonight Jackie and Ted Hipkin, Miles, Rita, Tony Rivers, Jackie Lloyd, Michael Hammond, Mike, Gillian Withers, Charles and Neil Jones, Margaret, the Ford family, Wade Stevenson, 
Jan and Vicky and family. Father, we hold all these in our prayers tonight, and particularly those in long-term illness, we hold in our prayers Margaret Routledge, Tim Taylor, Myra Wilcox, Betty Collingwood, Paul and Sylvia Townsend, Selina, May, May Bingham, Will Rag, Mustafa Melania, Alan and Yvonne Simons. Lord, we pray that you would strengthen them all this night. Surround them with your loving arms. Encourage them in all their troubles. And grant them your healing and your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we commend your keeping tonight all those who've recently died. Baby Stella and Steph Beasley. And tonight, remembering in the year's minds, the fall today of Charles Hine and Beth Parsons. Rest eternal. Grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they all rest in peace and rise in glory. Merciful Father, Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and we share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, we rejoice in the glorious splendour of your majesty, for you have given us a share with Henry Martin in the inheritance of the saints in light. In the darkness of this passing age, they proclaim the glory of your kingdom. Chosen as lights in the world, they surround our steps as we journey on toward the city of eternal light, where they sing the everlasting song of triumph in communion with angels and archangels and all who have served you here on earth and now worship you in heaven, we raise our voices to proclaim your glory forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praise as Heavenly Father through your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us 
his body and his blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying, drink this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself, made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom, and with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Accept through him our great high priest this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit. Inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your son Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him and in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed.
the body and blood of Christ. Amen. Amen. I invite you now to come forward to receive Holy Communion in our normal practice. I will be intincting as you come past. Let us pray. Holy Father, who gathered us here around the table of your Son to share this meal with the whole household of God, in that new world where you reveal the fullness of your peace, gather people of every race and language to share with your servant Henry Martin and all your saints in the eternal banquet of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let me pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Lord be with you. And also with you. God give you grace to follow his saints in faith and hope and love. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name, In the name of, of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen.